First that noon, trading threats, the U.S. and North Korea in a war of words that many fear could escalate quickly. In the latest round, North Korea is threatening to attack a key American military base in Guam. President Donald Trump taking to Twitter this morning to respond to all this. He touted upgrades to the U.S. nuclear arsenal he ordered after taking office, but also noted a hope that the weapons never need to be used. CBS 4's Weijia Jiang is joining us live from Washington, D.C. with the latest reactions there. Weijia. Elliot, the president is not backing down after issuing that extraordinary threat. In fact, now he's doubling down and pointing to the U.S. nuclear arsenal as evidence he means it. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. President Trump issued a strong warning to North Korea Tuesday, and within hours, the communist nation responded with a new threat. Pyongyang issued a statement saying it is examining plans to make an enveloping fire at the areas around Guam. The small Pacific island has two military bases housing more than 6,000 American soldiers and airmen. U.S. analysts say North Korea has made a nuclear warhead small enough to fit on top of a ballistic missile. It's the goal of the American president to stop North Korea from having an ICBM that can hit America with a nuclear weapon on top. He would go to war to prevent that. On Twitter this morning, President Trump said his first order as president was to renovate and modernize America's nuclear arsenal and that it is now far stronger and more powerful than ever before. He went on to say he hopes to never use that power. Some Trump administration critics say the president needs to tone down the rhetoric, but the president's secretary of state is defending the tough talk. What the president was doing is sending a strong message to North Korea in language that Kim Jong-un would understand. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson made those comments on his way to a refueling stop in Guam. He says he's not worried about the North Korean threats and Americans shouldn't lose any sleep either. Well, several East Asian countries are on high alert. China issued a statement to say the situation on the Korean Peninsula is highly sensitive and added it hopes all parties involved stop aggravating each other to avoid escalation.